On the 2nd of March 2025, the Blue Ghost lander successfully touched down on the lunar surface. Launched and operated by Firefly Aerospace, it became the first commercial moon lander to successfully land on the surface of the moon. Along with this achievement, it has also given us the first ever high definition footage of a probe landing on the moon. This is probably the best camera to land on the moon yet, although the bar was fairly low, as it looks like the Apollo missions filmed their landings in the 1960s and 70s on a potato, and any HD footage from those missions has been artificially upscaled in recent years. Blue Ghost captured incredible views of the moon and its shadowy craters as the uncrewed lander approached its landing site in Mare Crisium, including some very cinematic lens flares during the approach and the descent. It's incredible to see the lunar surface like this. The images are inspirational, and they give new life to our closest astronomical neighbor. You can see just how pelted the moon is by asteroid impacts, large and small. And since there's no wind or plate tectonics, those scars never heal. With Earth shining overhead, we start to see the shadow of the lander as touchdown approaches. Dust and larger rocks are kicked up, but notice how quickly the clouds settle once we touch down. Because there's no air, and hence no air resistance on the moon, the large and small particles all fall at the same speed. As this lander almost accidentally repeats the hammer and feather experiment done on the moon in 1971 by astronaut Dave Scott. Everything falls at the same speed in a vacuum. Shortly after the landing, science is already beginning, as the experiments on board Blue Ghost come to life and start to deploy. We got to see four electrodes deploy to the surface, and masts deploy up to two meters above the top deck of the lander. These will allow researchers to study the deep interior of the moon, up to two thirds of the way to the lunar center, and learn about the moon's mantle. We also saw drilling into the moon, as part of an experiment to determine heat flow from the interior of the moon. On March 14th, the lander even imaged a total lunar eclipse from the lunar surface for the first time. This is when the Earth gets in between the Sun and the Moon. From our perspective on Earth, this usually creates a blood red moon. But from the Moon, it looks like a solar eclipse. These images are stunning. Just look at the bright arc reflected in the solar panels here, and the ring of fire seen from the Moon. These are amazing achievements, and I can't wait to see more from the Moon, both from Blue Ghost and from other landers in the near future. Stay safe team, I hope to see you all on another video very soon. Thank <laughs> you.